this review of LEGO Spider-Man No Way Home Set 76185 Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. This set has 355 pieces and is rated for ages 7 plus. This set comes with quite a few minifigures and a really nice little background area, kinda. And let's get into the figs. This set comes with four figures, I think MJ, Wong, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man, and then whatever this thing is, but technically not really a minifigure. Uh, the Spider-Man over here has this really nice movie-accurate print, and I believe this is one of the cheapest ways that you can get them, along with all these other figures. I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest way that you can get most of them, especially this Doctor Strange with the uh, rubber cape. I believe he originally, like when he first appeared in sets, had a cloth cake, but they did move on to rubber, which is this, like, I guess, plasticky, this rubbery, like, plastic, which is kind of nice because it can stand on its own because the cape's kind of, like, alive and stuff. It even shows him, like, holding a drill on the back of the box. And then over here, you got Wong, which is a really nice version of him with the uh, coat and stuff, as you see him in the movie. And then over here you got MJ, which is kind of the most basic figure out of it with a uh, double-sided head and stuff. And just kind of fairly basic compared to some of the others, but I believe it is like the cheapest way that you can get her. I don't think she really comes in many other sets. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's move on to the build. So for the builds, we have this like weird monster thing. I'm sure it has a name, but don't really know what it's called i can't remember if it appeared in the movie or not it's been a while since i watched it but it's a pretty neat little build and it's just a cool monster to have your characters like fight against and stuff with some big claws posable arms it's got some using ball joints so there's a lot of mobility there it's got six legs so it's kind of like a weird like ant mutant thing but yeah it's really neat so set him aside and we'll move on to the main part of the build which at first while i was building it i wasn't really a fan of because these sections are held in by like two studs for most of the build so it really liked to fall apart sometimes until you added these on top which it's now it's sturdy and it's not gonna fall apart which is <clears throat> very nice this set does have quite a few stickers with all of these and that and then the uh, sticker on there. These were kind of annoying, but they're manageable. <clears throat> all the stickers are manageable and add quite a nice bit of detail, especially like the uh, computer monitor where they could have just used a basic one. They kind of made a specialized um, sticker for it. Which is kind of nice. We'll start on the side. You got a little like monster kind of hidden in your chest. Or they're almost kind of like a mimic type thing. Then this piece here is really cool. You don't see it all too often. It's a little uh, what you call hourglass. Which is just really cool to see. I was really a fan of that in there. And definitely has some great mock potential for different things that you can do with it. And then of course there's this shelf with a whole bunch of random objects and stuff and even like a little toolbox there on the bottom and like a cauldron and stuff. The swing arm to the back here but there's like this lamp looking thing back there. And then if you come around here, this is right behind the uh, big hole in the center which doesn't have a ton of detail besides these stickers and stuff. There is a little kind of like statue thing there, a little gemstone and a spider. And then there's, I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, but it's like a cauldron looking thing. Oh yeah, there's also a scorpion in back here. Not a ton of other detail back here besides this thing, whatever it's supposed to be. And uh, then over onto this side, it's almost like a gaming lounge and the uh, actual workshop itself is over here. So like some of the storage and computer and stuff's over here. And then the actual tools and everything over here. It's really nice that they made use of all the tools by putting them on clips and stuff and didn't just leave a bunch of random extra tools and only use like the drill or something. Cause that's something I find a lot of sets do where It'll have like the big pack of tools and you'll only need like a drill or like say a wrench or something for one of them and then all the rest of them just kind of get thrown aside. It's nice that they made use of all of them here and I think it looks really good. 
the whole workshop. So there is stuff in the uh, bins, not bins, um, drawers, but I don't have nails, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But there is stuff in there, which is nice that they keep some stuff in there. And then over here you have a really nice like candle setup. It's really cool. I actually kind of enjoyed the build for it. It's just a really cool piece. A little candlestick. Then you have, of course, a little couch with a controller, which I'd assume there's like a TV over here or something so that you can game. And then there's just like a basic little barrel here with nothing in it, so you could probably just use it as a stool. And then up here you have a bike, and that's about all for the build. So pretty neat set if you can find it still then i'd recommend picking it up if you want but it's not a ton to it you're not really missing too much but yeah have a good one bye